Hello, Smith. Who's this with you? It's all right, Mr. Brady. Uh, Colonel Warren has permission to see you. Is that so? If it's not out of place, would you mind telling me whose permission? I don't remember anybody asking me. And the foreign secretary phoned personally. Well, well, that's different, I guess. All right, Mr. Smith, I'll take it from here, thanks. Just as you wish, Colonel. So you're the invisible man, eh? How does it feel to be a state secret? Oh, it has its drawbacks. Pardon me for a moment. As a matter of fact, you've come at a very historic moment, Colonel Warren. Oh? I rather think the results of this experiment are going to take me several steps on the way to becoming visible again. No. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid from our point of view, that would be disastrous. Oh? Why? Maybe I'd better tell you who I am and why I'm here. I'm from military intelligence. Mr. Brady, we need your help in a matter vitally concerning the safety of this country. Oh, I see. But how can I be of help to you, Colonel? Have you ever been to Babes Sar? No, I don't know the Middle East. Babes Sar. Hmm. They've just had a revolution there, haven't they? Yes. And the new regime is far from friendly to us. That's too bad. I don't see how I can help you. You will. Listen, there's a strong resistance movement in Babes Sar, largely organized by our top undercover man in the Middle East, Jack Howard. Now, a couple of days ago, he was caught and badly shot up trying to escape. Officially, of course, they deny all knowledge of him. But we know that he's lying unconscious in a military hospital there. The secret police are only waiting till he comes to, and then they'll torture him to get our codes, the names of the resistance leaders, in fact, everything. Mr. Brady, it's vital that we get him out of their hands before they can make him talk. Yes, I can see that. And only an invisible man can get into that hospital past those guards to reach him. But... I thought I was supposed to be a top secret. Yes, but it's so vital to save her that I got permission to use you. All right, Colonel. I'll be ready to start in the morning. I know that you were sent here to meet a Western agent. Who was it? You have a pretty face. Could be a shame to mark it. Now speak up. Who sent you here? I want names. Pig! And now, the names. Quick, keep them covered. Keep your hand off your gun, Omar. I warn you not to move. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. Keep them covered and get into the jeep. Keep away from that door, Omar. I'd be delighted to put a bullet through you. Move to your left, Yolanda. you came to me. We'll catch them in the car. We'll turn up just in time. Steady now, it's only me. But Take it easy there. I, I can't see you. That's right. I'm invisible. Invisible? Who are you? I'm Peter Brady. Your country has made remarkable progress in espionage, my friend. This is a plan of the hospital. Since the Revolutionary Army took it over, there is only one entrance here. We must have him out before dark. We have a vital rendezvous to keep it sunset. It's Nassib. He's our contact with the hospital, an ambulance driver. We can trust him. So it's you. This makes me very happy. Because if Howard doesn't talk this time, I shall make sure that you do. Get his gun. Keep him covered. Let's go. I shall. But you can't lift him aboard. Do as I say. Get him in. Careful now. That does it. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos.